What's up, everybody? And welcome back to another episode of Urban IT, where we break down concepts in a way that the streets can understand. You dig? Before we start out, this video was brought to you by InfoSexSages.com. They offer a low-cost membership for cybersecurity mentorship and will help you land a six-figure job in cybersecurity in their 90-day program. Be sure to check them out. Also, be sure to like and subscribe to this video to support the channel. With that being out the way, your girl is back again. This episode is going to be on data integrity within information systems. Data integrity is the maintenance of and assurance of data accuracy and consistency over its life cycle. While that may sound complicated, let me tell you a story about why I had to break things off with my now ex. The thought of that jerk makes my blood boil. But let me give you the tea and tell you what he did. It was my birthday. And my man took me out to this amazing dinner. After that, he gave me a beautiful Gucci bag and some Gucci shoes. He was really tricking off on me. We had a great night that night. And I especially gave him a good night that night. If you know what I mean. Wink, wink. <laughs> Anyhow, the next day, I went and invited all of my girlies over to show them my purse. They all commented on how beautiful it was. However, one of my homegirls looked at it and commented how the stitching of the bag looked a bit off. At first, I just thought she was hating. But then she told me that Gucci had an app where you can verify if the serial number on the bag was legitimate or not. That was when we noticed that Gucci said that the serial numbers were all numbers. But this one had numbers and letters and that Gucci puts their serials numbers using heat press and not stitched like this one. Then we looked at the serial number, which identifies the style, brand, and if it's genuine, and it did not identify with any Gucci product. Now at that moment, I was hot like fire. How my man gonna give me a fake Gucci? How embarrassed was I that I invited all my friends over to see this fake purse. I immediately called my man up and cursed him out. It was over and I never want to deal with a cheapskate like that again. If he didn't have the money, I could have accepted another less expensive but authentic gift. However, I was able to figure out it was fake because Gucci included a serial number in the bag that I verified on the site was not real. In business, data integrity is important. Much like Gucci uses a serial number to ensure that the customer can verify that item is legitimate, businesses must have a way to verify data being sent is legitimate in the same structure as the sender intended it to be. Luckily, there was a method called hashing the data in which an algorithm is ran on the data and it spits out a unique fingerprint of the data similar to the unique serial code a manufacturer like Gucci will put in their bags. The industry standard is SHA-256 algorithm, although there are many different hash algorithms. The hash will yield the exact same result every time as long as the data has not been altered. For example, if Microsoft released a security update for their software, Microsoft would also put the hash of the security patch publicly on their website. That way, if you downloaded it, you can run a hash on the data and it should yield the same hash value. The SHA-256 is free for anyone to download and use on data sets to yield hash values. A hash algorithm like SHA-256 is a one-way output. It is only to be used to verify data set is what the sender intended it to be. For example, if your favorite celebrity signed an autograph based on how his signature looks, a handwriting expert can verify that it is his signature. However, his signature should be unique enough that no one else can copy his signature. 
If hash algorithm is able to be reversed and someone is able to figure out what data was used to create the hash value, it's not computationally secure and cannot be used. Even a minor change in the data set will yield a completely different hash value. As such, any unauthorized data manipulation will be found and identified. Also, in hash algorithm, every possible data set should yield a different hash. If two different data sets yield the same hash, this is known as a collision, which would render the hash algorithm ineffective. Much like fingerprints are supposed to be a unique identifier for people, and even though there's billions of people, no two people have the same fingerprint. Older hashing algorithms have been found to have collisions and are no longer used. Data integrity helps a business ensure that the data is what it is supposed to be and has not been altered or edited. What use is the data if we are unsure if the data is what it is supposed to be? If the police catch a cyber criminal, the first thing they do is capture his or her computer and run a hash on the hard drive to ensure that the evidence is not changed since the time when it was captured. When they present the data evidence into court, they will be sure to show the hash of the data set was exactly the same as when it was captured during the arrest or the initial seizure of the computers. Well, that about wraps it up for this episode. I hope you ladies learned from my incident with my idiot ex. But luckily, my homegirls came through and helped me discover my ex's silly little tricks. Because <laughs> it ain't tricking if you got it. And obviously, <laughs> he ain't have it. Anyhow, stay tuned for the next episode. Until next time. Peace out, y'all.